And we are now less than two hours away from the public inauguration ceremony for Houston's 63rd mayor. All right, so that private one happened yeah. uh, Monday just after midnight. Today we are bringing you team coverage of the public ceremony. We begin with Fox 26 anchor Delon Dillard. He's live inside the Wortham Center where people are already filing in. And we've also got Shelby Rose, but let's start with Delon. Hey there, yes, yeah, certainly filing in. Doors really just opened up here in the past four, of my, four, four or five minutes. And just take a look here over my shoulder. You can see the number of people who have already made their way here inside the theater. There actually was a line that was wrapped throughout here in the lobby area just about maybe 45 seconds ago. But they started to allow people to head upstairs into the theater to find their seats. You head over to the, to the box office, you grab a ticket, um, and then you go inside to find somewhere to sit inside. Uh, and you can just see this, the number of people here from the city of Houston who are coming in to see uh, the mayor sworn into office here publicly. Again, this is a public event free for the public. So if you do want to make it down here, it starts at 930 this morning. Uh, from my understanding, it will be about an hour or so from 930 until about 1030 a.m. If you can't make it down here, however, uh, we're going to keep it right here live here on air for you starting at 930. So you can watch it right here from your television screen or stream live on our website, fox 26 houstoncom But again, this is free, open to the public here in the morning. Uh, 930 and we expect the mayor to address the public as well uh, shortly after he is sworn and I believe his remarks will be about 10 minutes or so uh, for that part of the story let's bring in my colleague here Shelby Rose she is live outside uh, to talk about some of the mayor's priorities what we can expect him to talk about this morning and, and what we have seen here for the past couple of days uh, since he's been sworn in Shelby well, Delon, we've heard from the past two years from Mayor Whitmire about his top priorities and the changes that he would like to see as mayor over the city of Houston. And of course, leading that list is crime and public safety. And he believes he is the man for the job, especially considering his extensive background of politics here in the city. While he was serving at the state capitol, Whitmire was the chairman of the Senate Criminal Justice Committee, where he says he gained valuable partnerships with first responders in Houston, even getting endorsed by both police and fire unions and he's already getting to work houston police posted these pictures to twitter of the new mayor out with officers on his first night which hpd says they were able to arrest more than 100 drivers on dui charges starting on friday through the first and they also arrested seven people for illegally firing guns i don't have time to waste uh, and i'm willing to give the some really good remaining my good remaining years to the city of Houston because I care that much. So I have high expectations of myself and I know we've shared those high expectations and they're being adopted by the citizens of Houston. So let's come together and tackle our problems and I think Houston's greatest days are still in front of us. And of course, crime and public safety isn't the only priority for Mayor Whitmire. He has spoke extensively on his plans to rebuild the infrastructure here in the city as it relates to our drainage problems, as well as our crumbling roadways. Reporting live outside the Rotherham Center, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News. Yeah, it'll be so interesting to see how he starts tackling a lot of really serious issues that mm -hmm. the city is facing, as, as Shelby was just talking about crime, potholes, you know, water bills, so mm -hmm. many things. People, people have a lot of issues. That they yeah. Need addressed. Yeah, and I know one of his top priorities is also the, with the firefighters union mm -hmm. uh, settling all that. So we will definitely be watching to see how all of this plays out. And this morning, thank you so much, uh, Shelby and Delon, for keeping an eye out there, being uh, on the scene there again. The inauguration that starts at 9:30 at Wortham Center this morning. As Delon mentioned, it is free, open to the public. Uh, city controller Chris Hollins and 16 at large and district city council members. They will also be sworn in this morning. We'll be covering it all starting at 930 on our morning show. And if you are out and about, you can also catch it on our website at fox26houston.com.